What's up guys, Sam, I'm back with another Batman vs Superman figure review from the DC Comics Multiverse line. So we have uh, the Batman figure right here in the similar, D in the new DC Multiverse uh, packaging that we're getting now. You get an image of Batman or Batflick right there at the bottom, Batman vs Superman, Batman, Collect and Connect, Grapnel Blaster Replica. So you do get pieces for the Grapnel gun um, right here. On the back, it shows you the grapnel gun right there, all the pieces you need to connect it. Looks like this one comes with the base. And then you have uh, figures one through four. I don't have Wonder Woman yet, I don't have Superman, but it looks like the Superman and the regular Batman that I have right here is just a, a reissue of the um, DC, uh, as of the Comic Con exclusive Batman vs Superman two pack. Figures five through eight will be coming out soon. Right there on the side, you get a really cool image of Batman right there. So let's go ahead and open this setup and see how cool Batman is. All right guys, so here's a quick little 360 look at the Batman figure. And uh, you know what, this honestly looks good. I like this figure the way it looks, but here's a quick little 360 look. We're gonna take a closer detailed look at the figure. All right, so accessories. Let's get into the accessories that the guy comes with, or that this Batman figure comes with. So he does come with a piece of the grapnel gun, which is just the base. So you have like a bat looking um, uh, base that's gonna be holding the grapnel gun. And that's about it. It has that like Dark Knight uh, look, like the Dark Knight Batman logo look. But that's pretty much all you get. The um, armored Batman came with this piece right here. So we really have nothing to uh, put together. So that's like, and here we have Batman. And this is honest, I, I like this figure. I'm not gonna lie. I liked the Comic-Con 2 pack as well. I don't know if a lot of people really liked the set. Um, you have the Batman look right here, or the Batman face right here. There's a cowl, he's got, he's got some really brown eyes you can see. And then the cowl itself has like a little bit of like sculpting, like a little texture to it. So we'll see how that plays out in the movie. And I said that same thing with the, um, the Comic-Con 2 pack. And then you got the small bat ears. He's got some almost pinkish lips. So kind of like the NECA Keaton Batman, the video, I think it was the video game version or it was the, the D, no, it was the DVD version, the seven inch one. But it looks like he's got some lipstick there. So you, the, you got the head sculpt right there. So it looks pretty good still. Um, you have the Dark Knight looking Batman logo right here and you can feel it all. It's not painted on, it's like, it's like sculpted on and you can feel the texturing on that as well, which looks great. And then you have Batman's new suit. So you can see it has a lot of little like, kind of like lines sculpted on here, which I, I really like. You have his uh, utility belt right there. It's got like black with a little bit of like a dark yellow to it. And then the pants, the lower pants right here. Again, all that's cool sculpting. Here's a side look of the arms and the gauntlets and his gloves. And uh, you can see some more texturing in the gloves right here. And one cool thing is that they have mentioned in the, in um, I think it was like previous videos that I've seen that he's gonna have like uh, these like steel knuckles in his gloves. And you can kind of see that right here. You can see it's kind of like a yellow looking uh, color to it. And he's got them on both, both right here. He has it like right here on the, on the right hand. You can kind of see it in the thumb area. And then you can see it right there, of course, in the knuckles. And then here's the lower legs. And you got the boots, which also have a, like a texture to it. And then you can see the, the tip of the boots looks like they have like a steel toe to them, which is very nice. And then you have the bottom right here. So it does have some texturing. And this one, this figure does have peg holes. And the thing that really makes this different from the Comic-Con 2 pack is the cape. The cape on this one is a soft rubber material. Here's a look under the cape right here. So you can see it is just a soft rubber material. The Comic-Con exclusive had this like cheap cape cloth material and I did not like it whatsoever. I'll show you guys a comparison here in a minute though. But overall, I like this look and you can see right here, he has that little like line in the, um, in the neck area, the back neck area of the uh, figure. Cause you can see like that's where he's, he opens the, um, the, the mask where he, can, where he can take it off. Because I've seen a clip where he's on top of the, um, of a building with like a, it looks like a sniper gun or something and, or a rifle. And then he has this uh, detailing right there in the back of the neck. So that's pretty movie accurate. So that's really, really cool. Uh, this, I, I do like this Batman. I don't know how you guys feel, but I really do like this Batman. Now in the way of this articulation for this figure, the head can rotate. It goes up and down, not much, but it does go up and down. The arms go in and out, forward and back, upper arm rotation, a bend at the elbow. 
Uh, the hand or the hand can rotate. He's got rotation at the waist, and he's got a slight ab crunch. Not much, but he's got a slight ab crunch. Legs go in and out, forward and back, bend at the knee, mid leg rotation, and the foot can go up and down. So that's about it for articulation. Now let me show you a comparison with the Comic-Con exclusive. So right off the bat, you're gonna notice a big difference on each of the figures. First of all, the coloring they use on the actual outfit is a little bit different. I honestly prefer this version right here. Um, the belt even is a lot different, and I, I prefer the belt, uh, the utility belt on the um, the single the single version that you can find in stores right now. There's a big difference on each figure, but uh, let me see the knuckles here. We can see them. Uh, looks it looks kind of the same. The yellow or gold that they kind of use is a little bit different on the one on the right, but there is some major differences in the paint application, especially in the eyes. The eyes are a little bit um, darker on the one on the right. This one looks more cartoony. And then the cape, look at the cape. See, I hate, I don't like this cape material that they use in the Comic-Con exclusive. This one looks better. I would, would have preferred like a cloth one, but still I prefer it over this. But there's a little, you know, comparison with both figures, the Comic-Con exclusive and the one that's available now. It is just a repaint for the most part of the cape. Like they just use a different cape, but um, that's a little comparison with both figures here right he is here. Next to the armored Batman, which I had trouble getting to stand, and the Comic-Con exclusive uh, Batman vs. Superman 2-pack Superman or Man of Steel, which they are going to be re-releasing also in single card in the multiverse line, but there's a little comparisons. There you have it, guys. This is my review. Today, we're taking a look at the DC multiverse Batman vs. Superman Batman figure. Now, this one is a lot better than the Comic-Con exclusive two-pack. I'm not saying don't pick up the two-pack because if you guys do have the two-pack or do plan on getting it down the line, even though the Superman and the Batman are going to be released in this line, um, it's still a cool box set to keep in package because of the light-up feature. So I still would recommend you guys pick up the Comic-Con exclusive and keep it on ice, just keep it on the on the packaging. But this Batman is cool. I definitely recommend it. It is a nice figure. I was hoping the armored Batman would be um, as I was actually thinking the armored Batman was going to be a lot better than this one, but turns out I actually like this one a lot more. Now, the armored Batman does come with, um, I have it right here, this gun, so I wanted to see if this Batman would hold it because the way his hands sculpted, you can see it kind of has that like trigger finger thing going on there, so I kind of want to see if he can hold on to the gun because when Batman is wearing this suit, in the new trailer, he's um, hold, he has the weapon in his hand, and check it out. So you can have him holding onto the gun right here, which is awesome. But let me know what you guys think about this figure. Do you guys like it? Are you guys gonna pick it up? Let me know in the comments below. These are hitting Toys R Us, guys, so make sure you guys hit your Toys R Us, beat the scalpers. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Take care, peace.